bees. They are probably my favorite little creature. I love them very much and I have much to be thankful to these little insects because thanks to them, my orchards are doing so well. But there's a time when bees and I don't get along. It's April 1st, it's a springtime and this is a perfect time when the bees start relocating. Every year, bees revisit my home and uh, every year they try to settle in in this particular wall. Years back, they managed to somehow sneak in and if you can uh, see, I have some new foam uh, filled here in this uh, crevice. Um, the bees, anyhow, managed to settle in and uh, make a hive inside this wall. Since then, we had them removed and every year in early spring, they are revisiting the same spot. So kids and I have to fend and may figure out the way to uh, prevent them from moving in. And so one way to do it is to smoke them out or to create a smoke before they arrive. There's one right now and um, just like a week ago, kids and I um, had a, a big scouts coming and checking the wall and we were um, doing the same thing. We smoked the area for about two, three hours and the bees left. Well, bees are back and we're gonna do this again. And I wanna tell you um, how to do this yourself. Uh, pay attention, playing with fire is very dangerous. I'm in California and I am um, really, really careful because today is a windy day and it's a hot and windy day. And um, burning wood or burning any fire can easily get out of control. So although this uh, method is effective, it is also very dangerous. So make sure that you do this with a lot of caution and that you prepare with a bucket of water and uh, with the assistance of other people as well to help you uh, throughout this process. So my kids will be assisting me and um, I'm gonna show you how to create a fire and how to keep a fire smoking. Okay, to create a fire, find a metal dish. This dish is definitely too small, so if you have a bigger dish, that would be much better, much safer. Also, I'm uh, going with the dry root from a weed we pulled recently. Just you find a dry piece of wood that will work for you, and um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start the fire. Okay, so. The reason I'm burning the candle is because uh, the wax will give a little extra grease to wood. So once I stop the fire, uh, it will smoke a little bit more. There's a bee right around us. They don't like the uh, fire. Uh, they're going to go back and hopefully tell the rest of the hive that this is not a good spot to settle in. So I have a fire going on and I'll let it burn a little bit longer just so that I can have enough coal, hot coal and then when I turn it off, the school will continue to smoke. Uh, bees, the first scouts have uh, came and they're all already left. And then we took a little break and as soon as we took a break, bees came back again. So I'll continue to sit here and burn and process like this can go on sometimes in between an hour to three hours. So you have to be persistent. So as you can see, this is quite simple. And the point here is just to keep the smoke going close up all the openings where bees, bees might enter into the wall or maybe on the roof or whatever they're trying to settle in at your house. This process does not hurt bees, which is another good thing. It does take a little extra time, but it is so much easier to do this than to having to remove bees once they settle in. I hope that this little video was uh, helpful to you and uh, I hope that if you do choose to use this uh, technique, please be careful because you are playing with fire and things like this can easily go out of control. This process might take a little time, but on the end, these little bees are worth the effort.